Amanda, I have a brilliant idea. Oh yeah, what's that? Since we're showing a special at home with Arlene Christmas mini marathon this Saturday, I thought we could uh, have a Christmas cookie bake off. What do you say? Ooh, that sounds like fun. You make the cookies and I'll eat them. Also, join us as we watch Christmas from the Heart. It's all this Saturday from 6 to 9 on the Cornerstone Block Party. Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome to the Cornerstone Block Party. Not only is it Saturday, but it's also December, my favorite month, and it's our special guest favorite month, too. Please give it up for Cindy Lou Who. Right. Why, thank you. I'm Cindy Lou Who. How do you do? Um, we know, but we're good. How about you, Cindy Lou? I'm quite well, and I'm sure, as you can tell, by the way, what is that delightful smell? That would be the delightful smell of Christmas cookies baking in the oven. You see, Tom and I are having a Christmas cookie baking competition, and we'd like for you to be the judge. What do you say? Absolutely, I will. What a big honor and thrill. Um, Cindy Lou, you don't really have to rhyme the entire time. That's very kind, but I really don't mind. OK, then, let's start. Here's Christmas from the heart. Hey, this rhyming thing is fun. Welcome back, everyone. Tom and I finished baking our Christmas cookies, and it's now up to Cindy Lou Who to decide who is the winner. These cookies look delicious. I give you both best wishes. That's great. Here, try mine first. Oh, patience, Mr. Tom, and try to remain calm. The winner will soon be seen right after At Home with Arlene. Okay, Cindy Lou, whose Christmas cookies did you like best? Well, the winner is... Wait, what is this, a last minute entry? This I must see. Aww. Baby Joshua, congrats to you. I'm Cindy Lou Who, and I vote for you. Well, congrats, Baby Joshua. Stay tuned now for more holiday episodes of At Home with Arlene. Well, the theme for the night has been cookies, and I love some Christmas cookies, so please make some. I hope you enjoyed seeing Arlene and the, all the recipes there. Oh, by the way, the recipes, you can get those. I know you want to make those. So the recipes are available at ctvn.org slash at home, ctvn.org slash at home. You can get all the recipes, so make some good cookies for your family. That's right, and invite someone over to join you to eat those cookies, whether you're in your living room at the coffee table or around your dinner table. I think it's so important in this day and age where everything's moving so quickly that we actually take the time to say, hey, how are you doing? I, I know that we're guilty as like being leaders. Sometimes we're like, how are you doing on that task? Like whatever it is that we asked you to do. <laughs> but God wants us to take it a step further and say, how are you doing? And sometimes that conversation conversation happens, you know, over Around a cup of cookie. coffee and some cookies. <laughs> Are you a dunker or a non-dunker? Uh, I'm pretty much a non-dunker, but <laughs> I, I accept dunkers. There uh, we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, ask them how they're doing and shove a cookie in their mouth before they can answer. You know, it, it's just important to, to have a relationship. We are busy. Obviously, at this time of year, we're super busy. But uh, God isn't too busy for us, and he's not too busy for you. I hope you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I hope you've come to that place where you realize that he said, if you open the door, I will come in. He didn't say this, but it's sort of like the same thing. He said, I'll come in and have a cookie with you, <laughs> have uh, dinner with you. So that's what God wants uh, in your life, to, for you to open that door, come in and invite him in, and he will come in and change everything. Well, we hope you enjoyed Block Party. We'll see you next week.